Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to install a Viqua VT1 DWS drinking water system. So this is an ultraviolet system for one faucet um, that'll be installed at uh, typically the kitchen sink to give you bacteria-free water at that one faucet. So um, it comes with a, a, a nice cover plate here. You can see it's still got the blue protector on it here, and then a large black washer that would go on top. And uh, so now you'll have to drill a hole, either in the, if it's a stainless steel sink, in the, in the stainless steel flange around the top. If it's a, a laminate countertop, you'd have to drill it in the laminate countertop. If you've got quartz or granite, um, you'll have to use a special um, diamond encrusted uh, drill bit for that. 5 8 inch diameter is what you're going to want to drill. And uh, sometimes some of the black um, granite sinks have uh, knockouts from underneath. So you look underneath and you can knock out uh, the plug and this faucet will fit right in there. So once you've uh, drilled the hole and you've selected the location for the faucet, you would put that in. And uh, like I say, this trim ring and the, the large black washer goes on top. That sits through. And then from underneath, you'd put the large flat washer, the other rubber washer, and the star locking um, washer on hand. And then you tighten up this nut from underneath. Make sure you've located it, you've got it straight, and you've tightened it up. Once you've tightened it up, then this fitting here goes at the bottom and connects. And this is going to connect the, uh, the tubing to it. So this is what's called a quick connect fitting. And if you're not uh, familiar with how to connect tubing to this kind of a fitting, then check out this video up here. It, uh, it's, it deals specifically with quick connect fittings. So then the next step is we're going to want to set up the supply line. So underneath your uh, kitchen sink, underneath your faucet like this, you're going to have a shutoff, which is, um, is hooked up to the, the cold and the hot water line. So you're going to want to uh, hook up the supply to the cold water line. And if you're not sure which one that is, just run the water, um, both hot and cold, like lukewarm, run the water, and then feel underneath here. You'll be able to tell one side will be cold, the other side will be hot. So you're going to want to uh, hook it up to the cold side. So once you've determined that, then you're going to want to shut off the water here at the source and then you're going to disconnect this connection going to the cold water and then you're going to put this T in and this is going to give you the supply to the um, ultraviolet disinfection system. So there's a, a, a female end and a male end so obviously you just screw that on. Get it started there. And we want to screw this just slightly tighter than hand tight so it doesn't leak. And this other side will hook up to here. And again, you're going to want to use a wrench on this, but just as, it, as I mentioned, make it just slightly tighter than hand tight. So once you've connected all this, then you're going to want to close this shut off here. Close it like that. And then you can slowly open up the main shut off and just check for leaks. Make sure that you don't have any and if you don't have any then we can proceed. So next we need to plan where we're going to put the unit itself. So it can be mounted, since we're connecting to the faucet at the sink, um, it can be mounted right underneath the kitchen sink or if you have a crawl space underneath the kitchen that's available. Often uh, cottages and cabins have that available. It can all be mounted underneath there but do keep in mind that you are going to need to have access for an electrical connection uh, to it. Uh, if you have a basement, it can also go in the basement. So, uh, okay, so what we'll do is we'll, um, once we've decided where it's going to go, we're going to put a piece of wood backing down that this is going to attach to. So if it's going to go inside the kitchen cupboards, this would be attached to the kitchen cupboards. Um, this is just a one by five, I guess, or one by six. Um, but you can use a three quarter inch plywood or a strip of uh, any scrap material you have around like that. Okay, so then to pre-assemble this, we're just going to remove the actual UV part of it temporarily. And uh, so the filters are already installed um, by the manufacturer. So what I usually do is just snug it up a little bit because it'd be easier to do um, now before the unit is installed. And all right, great. So you don't have to reef them down, just make them snug. So uh, once we've done that, then um, <clears throat> we need to find a, a mounting location. So once you've decided uh, where you're going to put it, I've uh, 
pre-drilled some holes here to kind of speed up the process on the video. And uh, so you could just put uh, one screw in on the one side and then hook it in. And then um, you can use a level or something like that on here it, and then mark the location of where the second uh, screw is going to go. So I'll just put one in here like so. And that just slides in place like that. And then you can snug it up to hold it in place. Then we just need to remove these rubber caps. And uh, this end here is where the uh, electrical module is going to plug into. So on the opposite end is where we're going to thread into this fitting here. So it, they're already come with Teflon tape installed. So just be careful when you start to thread it in that it goes in nice and straight. If it's not catching, you may have to back off a little bit and, uh, and then start threading it again. And uh, you can put each one of them hand tight. Same deal with the other one here. And uh, once you've got them about as tight as you can go hand tight, then you can use a wrench like this. This is 20 millimeters and uh, you can tighten it up with that. So the UV then can snap in here. Just be careful, it has the quartz sleeve already installed at the factory. So just be careful when you're handling it that you don't uh, crack that quartz uh, sleeve. So the next step is actually putting in the lamp, which is actually why I've got these gloves on, because uh, you can't handle the lamp uh, with your bare hands. So we just pull that out. So you'd either, like I say, either use a cloth. You can handle it at the very ends with your bare hands, um, but if you use gloves or a cloth, you can handle it uh, wherever you like. And then slide that partially in here. And then this is the ballast and the electrical connection here. So what we're gonna do is, um, now you'll see that there's four different connections here and they're all different heights except for two of them. So you need to make sure that you key the um, lamp in that it fits, whoops, that it fits in with each of those four connections. And then slide it all the way so it's tight. And then you need to turn the, the end here, the connection, so it slides into here. And then you push it all the way till it snaps in, like that. Okay, that's all set. <clears throat> and then this ballast here, it can be mounted either on the wall or um, you can actually just leave it here if you like. Um, the only thing you have to be careful of, you don't want to put it um, mounted underneath. That way if there's condensation, um, you might have condensation dripping on it and eventually it could short out. So in terms of water flowing through this, it's actually going to enter here, it's going to go through the sediment filter first, then it's going to go through the carbon filter, it's going to leave the carbon filter, go across here to the ultraviolet light, run across the light, and then continue on here and go to the faucet. So this was the shutoff. I've just taken it out so it's a little bit easier to see, but this is the, the, uh, the, the raw water coming into the unit. This is the shutoff that's underneath the kitchen sink. So we would just pull out this and connect this fitting here in there. And, uh, and then this is where it leaves the carbon filter and it's gonna go up and around. Slide that in there. And again, you'll feel a bit of resistance, but keep on going until it slides all the way home. We've got that one in there. And then this is the faucet. So again, we've connected the tubing to the bottom of the faucet, the quick connect fitting. And, uh, and then we just slide this in here. And again, you feel some resistance, and then you slide it home. And uh, so this would all be connected up, up top. So if water flows in through here, and then comes out the faucet. So the last thing you need to do is connect this up elect electrically. And that's what you would do now. You would plug it in and uh, give it about 60 seconds or so for the UV lamp to come up to full power. Once it's come up to full power, then you can open up the inlet coming into here. I would just open it partially at first to let the water slowly flow through. Check for leaks. If there's no leaks, then you can open it up all the way and then let the water run. So when the water runs, you're gonna see a bit of gray water coming out and that's the carbon fines coming from the carbon filter and that's perfectly normal. Just let it run till it turns clear and then the water's Good to go, bacteria free. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. 
That way be notified all the new videos they become available on our channel. If you like some more information about this product or any of our other products, you can go to our websites, either thewaterestore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.